Up next, RSVP matches seniors with meaningful volunteer opportunities. Stay tuned. It's the same. Yes. RSVP is the Retired Senior Volunteer Program. It's a federal program and uh, basically they are throughout the United States and the one that I run is for Montgomery County, Maryland and the sponsor is Montgomery County Government and we're housed here in the Volunteer Center. Among the most important developments in our county is the growth of our senior population. That is a real important demographic change in our county. So our seniors have so much to offer us and our county is doing a great job in making sure we tap into it. Basically RSVP allows people to volunteer with different organizations that we partner with. So there are about 30 nonprofits and agencies in Montgomery County that we have chosen to partner with over the years, like Interages, our Bone Builders Program, our Tax Aid Program, and then the Yarners. Well, some of our others are uh, Brookside Gardens, Holy Cross Hospital we partner with, uh, the Literacy Council of Montgomery County, and we partner with the Office of Consumer Protection, we also have a group called the SWAT Team, Seniors with Available Time, and those are volunteers who are already doing one volunteer opportunity already, but then they say that if you need help with anything on a one-time basis, I'm available. One other one is the Pro Bono Consultant Team, which is in our office, run by two volunteers, and what they do is they match people who want to share their professional skills. They want to use the skills they've, they've had in their career to work with a nonprofit on a specific project, perhaps designing a website or designing uh, marketing materials or doing a strategic plan or running an event. So it's a wide variety, something from all the different food groups so people have a choice. A majority of Asian Americans voted. So when I meet with somebody who's 55 and better and they're looking for something to do, I will introduce them to the different organizations within RSVP. Now, if there's nothing in RSVP that's of interest to them, the good thing about being housed in the Volunteer Center is I have lots of other resources for them, and my ultimate goal is to get them a good match as a volunteer. We have uh, about 480 volunteers in the various pro programs. We get out and about to help promote the program and help promote a culture of service in Montgomery County. That's what the Volunteer Center does. Specifically, I promote a culture of service for people 55 and better to get them out there and get them connected and giving back to the community. They find that very gratifying. Uh, volunteering has so many health benefits as well. Um, it helps stave off depression, isolation. It makes people feel good about what they're doing and there's such a thing as a helper's high where people benefit from giving back and feeling good about giving back to the community and meeting really great people that's the big secret about volunteering is people get to meet other really nice people who are like-minded now let's visit a few RSVP partner organizations where volunteer opportunities abound Bone Builders is a free program for seniors in this county. Seniors meeting 55 and up, so it's pretty liberal expanse here, up through the 90s. We have people in the 90s. Three, four, hold. Um, it, we use exercises that are designed to strengthen the muscles surrounding the bone. It actually can increase bone mass. And we also work on um, balance so people don't fall. 13, you're also serious. 14. I'm the coordinator of the Bone Builders Program for the Montgomery County Department of Health and Human Services, Aging and Disability Services, but I also teach as a volunteer in the program. I've been teaching for five years because I love it so much. Okay, here we go. We're going to start to the right. The program is spread throughout the county. We have 83 volunteers in the county all doing this free. I was looking for some volunteer opportunities because I recently retired and uh, saw this on the Montgomery County website. And then talking to Phyllis, it was, uh, she really did sell me on it. To become a teacher, you do have to take some training. We don't expect you to have been a teacher. We don't expect you to have been in a class, a Bone Builders class. We provide a free two-day training about nine hours of training and then we have ongoing supervision throughout the year. 
the community that develops in each of the classes is very uh, significant and helpful to everyone involved, even the teachers. What I like about the class is that it is social at the same time that it's serious and we are here to better ourselves. I'm able to uh, do many other things that I was trying to shy away from. The class has been extremely helpful. There's an incredible gratitude that you find in these people because you're giving them a gift, basically, that's protecting them and helping them live better lives. And you feel it. You feel it from the students. I love you all. Yeah, it's, it's a terrific program with terrific volunteers. For more information about Bone Builders classes or volunteering, please call 240-777-3000. Human Interages Center is an intergenerational program center that's a part of Jewish Council for the Aging. And we are focused on intergenerational connections. So through the Heyman Interages Center, we provide many opportunities for adults age 50 plus to connect meaningfully with students, children, youth in various ways. We work in 21 different schools in Montgomery County public school system. And we work with students ranging from age four, pre-K, Head Start children, through high school seniors. You two will go here, right? Okay, and the last question to do. We have volunteers with just a wealth of experience and background. Some were teachers and paraeducators and were in the school system. I was an ESOL teacher um, before this. This is my third year being retired. And I knew that I wanted to do some volunteer work and I wanted to do it in something that I, I knew what I was doing. And so um, I looked up volunteering and I, it, this was just perfect for me. Others were in many other fields such as lawyers and doctors and just all we ask is that the individuals that come to us that want to engage with the students have a passion for helping, have patience, and an understanding of just how tough it can be for students and children and want to help. It's just very rewarding because the kids really appreciate it and you feel like you're making a difference. So these programs span the gamut from mentoring to tutoring to small group discussions and current events to other literacy type activities. Any way that we can help students and schools and school communities thrive through providing older adults in the classrooms and providing extra support in either during the day or after school programs. We also do connect with one elementary school within Montgomery County Public Schools and other youth groups that visit frail seniors in their homes. We do have over 200 volunteers that are in the schools on a weekly basis and we help on average about a thousand students a year focused on mentoring and tutoring. So we do ask that volunteers be available from the start of the school year through the end of May. We follow the school schedule, so there are natural breaks in there. You know, it's a very flexible schedule. Um, if you're going away or doing something like that, you know, you just tell them and you come in another day. They, they appreciate your time, as much time as you can give. And Ms. Janice, I'm back here. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Contact InterAges at accessjca.org or call 301-949-3551. Uh, the Tax Aid Program is a volunteer operation that assists low to moderate income taxpayers prepare their tax returns. We work at about 25 sites throughout Montgomery County. We prepare both federal and Maryland returns. We have, oh, about 150 volunteers, depending upon the year, 
That is about 120 people who are counselors, which are the people who actually do the tax, who do the assistance in the tax preparation. 10 facilitators who work at sites, our larger sites, uh, to sign in taxpayers and help them organize documents, things like that. And then about 30 schedulers who are sort of our first point of contact with the taxpayers. I am a volunteer at Tax Aid, and what I do is basically coordinate all of the schedulers that actually receive the phone calls from uh, the clients and put them on Acuity and on computer system and try to select the best site for that individual to have their taxes prepared. Um, we cover all kinds of uh, um, individuals. Uh, anyone who works in Montgomery County or lives in Montgomery County has a simple tax does not have the funds to go to other uh, tax preparers will actually um, you know, come to us. We do have preference for seniors, if at all possible. We focus on seniors in the county. Volunteers were looking for positions for the counselor position, the facilitator position, and the scheduler position. Right now, we're particularly looking for schedulers. We have a website where we explain what each of these positions do and the commitment, time commitment for each of these positions, as well as a little bit of background on the experience needed for that. And then we start January 25th and uh, go until April 18th. We are clearly serving a need, whether it's an elderly person or a low-income person. Working with the IRS or with Maryland Taxes is usually kind of difficult for a lot of people. And the assistance we provide help them meet one of their obligations. And it makes most volunteers feel like it was something really worth doing. To find out more about the tax aid program, go to montgomeryserves.org slash tax dash aid. Once a week, the RSVP Yarners come together to make items for local charities. They meet in three locations throughout the county. Hello, hi everyone. We have knitters and crocheters. We, don't, we do not discriminate. <laughs> These women are the most creative and industrious group of people I have ever met in my life. I am so awed by, by, the, by, by what these people do. You made this one, Ann? Look, look, watch, look at Ann. Over, under, and off. She can do it with her eyes closed. I joined this because it's really close to home. There's a bunch of really nice people here. <laughs> and it keeps me out of trouble. We learn from everybody. Everybody does something a little bit different. You know. The bump, see this bump in the front? Mm -hmm. That's a pearl. There's no bump here, that's a knit. I come for more than just the knitting. If I, I can knit at home, but I come for the friendship. We all encourage each other. We talk about more than knitting. We talk about our families, health issues, insurance issues. We just really um, encourage each other in many ways. I kind of agree with her because it is kind of quiet at home, and I come over here and hang out with the girls. Oh, oh, oh you did Norma. Oh, well. And I didn't know how to knit, and when I came, they taught me to knit. It's very relaxing, and you're doing it. It's a worthy cause because it's for the homeless. Okay, here come our latest bags from Schweinhaus Senior Center. All of these items are knitted items that our knitters have made throughout the year. Holy Cross gets a lot of the baby blankets and the baby outfits. And uh, Healthy Mothers, Healthy Children is a project through Aspire Counseling and they want baby blankets. We give a lot of our stuff to Original Pancake House. Every year, Jeff Bullman, the owner, opens up his pancake houses for Christmas and brings the homeless in for breakfast. And he likes to give them something warm to take home. A lovely group this is. We are like sisters. <laughs> to join the RSVP Yarners, call 240-777-2610.